It's only going to take you like 10 seconds to get rid of all of those unwanted plugins that are populating your drop down menus in Pro Tools. This is for my Mac users. If you got a new software or interface and it came with a bunch of free plugin trials and now you have like a hundred extra plugins in your drop down menus that you just don't need like so. I'm going to show you how to remove those really, really fast. And I'm also going to share my favorite tip on organizing plugins to make your workflow a lot faster. Okay, let's get rid of these plugins first. Just go over to your finder, click go, and then click computer. From here, click on your HD, then library, then application support, then Avid. Under here, we go to audio, and then here are where your plugins folders are. And to make this easier to look at, I'm just going to make them columns. So I'm gonna look at my plugins folder, scroll way down to the plugins I don't want in here, which for me are the UAD plugins that came with the Apollo Twin. There are a lot of them. So I just selected all of these and I'm just gonna drag them into the plugins unused folder and drop them right there. I'm gonna restart Pro Tools. Okay, back in my session. Let's see, they're all gone. Look, I don't even have to scroll. This is all of my EQ plugins. This will make your life a lot easier. Go get rid of those plugins you don't need to look at anymore. But before you go do that, check out this really cool tip. If you open your audio suite menu, if there's a plugin you use all the time and you don't wanna come in here and have to like go scroll and find it, let's say I like to open the Gain Audio Suite plugin quite a lot and I wanna shave off a few seconds of my workflow instead of having to go down to other and then finding the gain, follow me up until this point. Find the plugin you love, hold the command key and click it. Nothing happened, right? But now when you go to Audio Suite, that plugin is right on top. As you can see, I use Autotune Pro RX10's Plosive and Vocaline Ultra quite often, so I keep those there. I don't need my gain to be there, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold command and click it again to make it go away. Love that tip. Do me a solid and hit subscribe. By the way, I'm Kimara, and I've been recording my vocals in Pro Tools for over 15 years. I've got lots of tips for you. I'll show you how to fix all the problems I've run into as well. So please subscribe. Let me know in the comments if I solved your problem, and I hope you like my plugin demo videos like this one.